beside you, all around you, and within you. He is with you, He is with you in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going.
just thank you because children are on your heart tonight. Your children are on your heart. God, we bless the next generation. This house was made for your children, no matter what age. God, you've made a place for them to come to you, God, and you call us to come. God, we thank you for your gentle hand, your outstretched arm that reaches out. because we know our children have a future full of joy and peace. God, we pray your kingdom come. And we thank you, God, because you love your children. Lord, we bless our children this morning. We pray for holiness to cover them. We ask your protection, Lord. God, will you help them to grow in wisdom? God, we ask for you to raise up leaders right here. God, we just lift our hands right now. And we declare that your leaders are here. You are raising up warriors, God. You're raising up forerunners here in this house, in this space. Lord, we take responsibility for these children. We take responsibility to help raise up the next generation. So, Lord, we bless our children this morning. We thank you, God, for your covering over us. And we pray all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. Before, before we move on, you know, if you want to, um, I feel like there's a few of us in the room that want to pray a blessing over our younger generation. As, as cute as they are, you know, this is not a show. You know, we're here as a family and, um, you know, as the older generation, we just want to speak a blessing. As today is February 20th, Isaiah 2.20 says, In that day mankind will cast away their idols of silver and their idols of gold, which they have made for themselves to worship. And so, Lord, we just declare over our younger ones that they will cast down idols, Lord, the idols that we have built, Lord, that, that a culture has built, that our society has built, Lord, things that get in the way of hindrance of worshiping you, Lord. Lord, we're just asking that you would um, continue to raise them up, Lord, with pure hearts, God, with a heart after yours, Lord, that they may be a generation that is on fire for you, God, that loves you, that loves your presence. Yeah. And so if there's just, if you just want to bless them, we just want to spend the next couple of minutes really just you know a, a sentence or two Pastor Prince is asking for Ed Kim to come up I know I haven't stopped running, 
but I know that the next generation needs to take it farther than what I, where I did. So Lord, we pray for these little ones. We pray for the teenagers. I'm tired of hearing stories of, of suicide. I'm tired of reading news articles of uh, kids thinking they're, there's nothing greater. And so they end their lives. So we ask that you encounter them. You show up to them. You show up to their door. In their heart, you reveal yourself to them. And I don't know what this COVID thing has done, but the isolation that they felt, the depression, they don't feel worthy. I just want to tell them that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. That there will never be anyone like them. There has never been anyone like them. Since the beginning of time to the end of time, even, even identical twins are different. They are just one creation. There's only one of them since the beginning until the end. So I ask that you put that in their heart, that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. And Lord, we ask that this next generation takes the baton, the torch, and takes it so far than we've ever imagined and that your good news spreads forth through the entire earth. In Jesus' name. If you have a prayer, if you want to just speak blessing, you know, just line up right here. You know, this is not someone else's kids, these are our kids, right? Whether you're a parent or not, these are our kids. So Father, we just thank you for your children. We thank you for the anointing on their lives. We thank you for the prophets that are being released. We thank you for the gifts the Moses anointings on these children. We thank you for the Joshua anointings on these children, Father. We thank you for covering them on the bud. Father, we thank you. We release angels over these children to protect them wherever they go, whatever they do. Father, watch over them. Keep them in perfect peace, Father. Raise them up to be mighty men and warriors in the kingdom of God. And God, we just thank you right now. We bless you for these children. Father, we thank you for their families, their mothers and fathers that breathe in life and nurturing them in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just give you all the praise, all the glory and all the God. We thank you, Lord. We honor these children. We bless you for the parents. We thank you, Lord. Raise them up to be mighty warriors in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, Matthew 18, the disciples were arguing over who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And he looks to a child and he says, truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you'll never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And I feel like so many children look to adults and they're like, we want to grow up. We want to grow up to be older. But God, I pray that you would teach us all to become more like children with childlike faith, God. That you would help us to become more like these ones before you, God. Dependent upon you, relying upon you, God. Jesus, would we not be so eager to go on to the next life stage, whatever that might look like, but Lord, would you help us to become like these children. We honor these ones. We honor these ones. Just, um, I just saw like a rainbow over the children and just um, representing just God's promises, God's promises for them and just, um, you know, all the promises and God's word for them that will be fulfilled because um, his word does not come back void. And just, um, yeah, the words in Jeremiah, 
Uh, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. And I just speak that over these children. In Jesus' name. And Lord, as it's been prayed for, Lord, we, we just bring all these young children to you, Lord. And we, uh, as a grandmother, I just give you my heart and love for these children that they will grow to encounter you, God. We pray that, Father, you will speak to them where they are in the language that they understand, God, and understand who you are, Jesus. We speak against anything that comes against our children. We speak against... Uh, as it's been said before, we speak against loneliness and, 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 and suicide. We speak against anything that comes against them, God. Anything that will keep them from experiencing you as who you are, Jesus. Lord, and I pray that they will be like examples of at, at school, God. They will be the ones loving. They will be the ones going a different way, not the way that has been set for them by the world, God. That they will be making those new pathways, God, to, uh, to lead the way, God. And we just bless them, Lord, and we just speak, speak uh, your, your healing, your power, God, and we just pray protection over them in Jesus' name. We're about to just close this up. We just thank you, Lord. We pray for our kids, all of our kids here. And uh, it's the, the church's children here. So, Lord, we, we bless them. We turn our hearts towards them according to the, the prophecy and the promise in, in Malachi chapter 4, that we turn the hearts of the fathers. Our, the fathers turn the hearts to the children. And let the hearts of this generation be turned to the fathers now, God, in Jesus' name. But we know it's critical. It is critical for this generation, God. And so we're asking, we're interceding as we're doing this together, that you would cause this to be the turning of hearts between the generations. No longer alienation, no longer uh, estrangement, but connection again between the generations we are declaring we are we are we are we are staking the ground god for your purposes for this generation for this young generation but also for the older generation too they are together lord you have tied their fate together and so we say yes to your word we say yes to your plans and purposes in jesus name amen, amen. Can we